nice. Today we're gonna to start working a little bit with strokes. Uh, how we can do strokes with pencils. We have eight different kinds of strokes that we'll have hatching, cross hatching, contour, core, uh, cross contour, circles, random lines, your choice, and stippling. <clears throat> okay, so for this matter, what we're gonna need is a pencil. I would recommend a pencil that is a B, that has like a dark shade on it. I don't, I don't recommend a, a light colored pencil. I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use one of these. These are like too light color, if you can see. This won't make that much of a difference while this one does. So I will, I'll want you to have a dark pencil to work on this. Always have your, um, your pencil really well sharpened. That way you can do defined lines and it will, your, your work is gonna look better. Okay, uh, we're gonna need a white cardboard for this project and we're gonna need a lot of um, concentration and patience for this work. Okay, so first one we're gonna start doing, we're gonna divide our page in eight. Not literally divided, but you'll, you'll have to have eight spaces for your work. Four on top, four on the bottom. And uh, we're gonna start with our hatching. So what we're gonna do first is, <clears throat> how does hatching work? Have your always your wrist really light, okay? And what we're gonna do is just do some strokes like this. Okay, we're gonna do this like five, for every um, stroke that we're gonna do, we're gonna do at least five steps, okay? So I did my first step, was this lying. My second step is gonna be going the same way, but now my strokes are shorter. You can see my lines, <clears throat> they're getting like shorter. This is my third step. See, and every time my lines are getting shorter and shorter, okay? three. and five. Okay, this one is catching, so I'm gonna put hatching there. Now our second stroke is cross hatching. So what does that mean? It's hatching, but you have to do a cross on it. So what we're gonna do is the same procedure, number one. Number one is like this, regular hatch. Just like that, right? Now my second step is going upwards. Okay. And we do the same thing. We start crossing. The more strokes, the more lines you do, the values will get darker. That means you'll have more shade. There you go. So that would be our cross hatching. So it's cross hatching. Okay. Now our third stroke is contour. So you remember how we did hatching that was straight lines, right? So this one over here, contour means a little bit more rounded. So contour is Move a little bit your wrist, like that. Okay. 
every time you're applying they're gonna get shorter and it's gonna get darker in this part over here. So that would be contour, maybe I'll just do one more. That way I can have this like really dark. There we go. So at least five steps for it, okay guys? There you go. So now this is contour. Now our next one is cross contour. So if we did hatching, cross hatching, contour, how would our cross contour be? Exactly the same as we did with hatching. We have our contour here. And now what are we gonna do? We're gonna do our cross contour. So that would be our cross contour. For our fourth, our fifth, our fifth stroke. Now what we're gonna do is work a little bit with circles. So what we're gonna do are draw little circles all around. This pencil keeps on breaking every time. So I'm gonna continue with my little circles. Now, obviously this one is not lines, they're with circles. So you have to learn how to do values, like really light values on the top. Okay, so this part is gonna be like really light pressure like that and when I come down here I'm gonna have my values be darker so I'm gonna press a little harder and make my circles a little bit closer to each other so I create a darker value than the ones that are up here So there we have circles. Okay, I'm gonna sharpen this up a little bit more. Okay, for my next one, I'm gonna use random lines. So my random lines are just gonna be random. I'm just gonna start drawing like this. So where I'm going to put effort into it is on the uh, 
um, lower part of my random lines because at this end is where I want to have my shade. Up here is going to be really light color value, over here is going to be darker. So these are random. Random lines, and now we're gonna do another one that's called your choice. In which we're gonna use diagonal lines, like this. We're gonna use vertical lines, horizontal lines. And we can do, again, diagonal lines. Like this. As we go down, our strokes are going to get um, a little bit darker. So we can just play around a little light blue. Like So this one is called Your Choice. And finally we're going to uh, end with our last stroke that is stippling, that is practically dots. So what we're going to do is our pencil is going to be really straight like this and we're going to start dotting our area. Twist a little bit our pencil like this but always having it straight where we want our dark areas. And then the lighter ones are just like really dots that are light. So let's finish up shading light over here and darker here. The closer the dots are, the darker the value will be, the separate and less pressure you have, the lighter it will be. Okay, so basically this is our last one, and this one is called stippling. Okay guys, so these are our eight strokes in which we can use to shade or to draw some objects. I will invite you to practice them. Please work on them, have patience, and put a lot of detail into it. Uh, I can't wait to see your work in platform, so as soon as you're done, please uh, post them in my platform. Hugs and kisses to everybody until next class. Bye bye for now.